Hello everyone. Today I'm going to present you the analysis of a frame and draw its axial force diagram, shear force diagram and bending moment diagram. We have got a frame ABC in which AB is vertical member and BC is inclined member. The member AB has got a UDL of 0.1 kN per meter throughout its length and the member BC has got a UDL of 0.3 kN per meter which is acting in the direction of gravity. The joint C has a clockwise moment of 5 kN meter, a vertically upward force of 1 kN and a leftward force of 2 kN. For analyzing the structure, first we need to check its determinacy. For this we use a simple formula that is 3m plus r is equal to 3j plus c where m is the number of members and there are two members in this structure ab and bc. r is the number of reaction components and as the member a is fixed it has got three reaction components ma, va and ha so r is equal to 3 so 3m plus r is equal to 9. There are three joints that is a, b and c so number of joint is 3. So 3j is 3 into 3, 9. There are no conditional equations of equilibrium, so c is 0. So we can say the structure is statically determinate. Another simple approach to find the determinacy is, since the member A is fixed, it has got 3 reaction component, and there are 3 equations of equilibrium, that is, sigma h is equal to 0, sigma v is equal to 0, and sigma m is equal to 0. So 3 is equal to 3. The structure is statically determinate. Now we draw the free body diagram of the structure in order to analyze it. We are assuming HA is acting rightward, VA is acting vertically upward and ME is acting in anticlockwise direction. First we'll find the angle theta. For it we do tan inverse 10 by 20. So we get 26.565 degrees. To find the slope length BC we use Pythagorean theorem which gives slope length as 22.36 meters. To find the moment ma we need to take moment about the point a is equal to zero and for this we are assuming clockwise moment is positive and anti-clockwise moment is negative one kilonewton force is giving an anti-clockwise moment at a perpendicular distance of 20 meter similarly two kilonewton load is giving anti-clockwise moment and the perpendicular distance is 10 plus 12 22 meter 0.3 kN per meter UDL is giving a clockwise moment of 0.3 into 20 into 10 as, it, as for UDL we take the centroidal distance. Similarly 0.1 kN load, meter load is also giving clockwise moment. The 5 kN meter load which is clockwise sorry the 5 kN meter moment which is clockwise is taken as it is. Solving this equation we get the value of MA as 8.2 kN meter. Similarly, we take the moment at point B is equal to 0 and we get the value of MB as 25 kilonewton meter. The moment as C is simply 5 kilonewton meter. Now, we need to find the reaction forces HA and VA. For it, we use the equations of equilibrium that is sigma H is equal to 0 and we are assuming rightward forces are positive and leftward forces are negative. HA gives rightward force so it is positive. Similarly, 0.1 kN per meter UDL also gives rightward force, so it is 0.1 into 12. And minus 2, it is leftward, so it is negative. Hence, we get the value of HA as 0.8 kN, which is rightward, hence our assumption is correct. Similarly, to find VA, we use sigma V is equal to 0, and we are assuming upward forces are positive and downward forces are negative. So, VA is upward and hence positive, 1 kN is upward and hence positive, but 0 0.3 into 20 is downward, hence it is negative. So, we get the value of VA as 5 kN positive. Now, we split the member and draw the free body diagram. So, in this inclined member, 1 kN load is acting upward and 0 0.3 into 20 that is 6 kN is acting downward so to bring it in equilibrium we need 5 kN load upward and to bring this 2 kN in equilibrium we need another 2 kN rightward similar in the similar manner we proceed in the vertical member as well now for this inclined member we have got UDL which is acting in the direction of gravity but we need to find the shear force and axial force 
as the shear force is always taken perpendicular to the member axis and axial force is always taken parallel to the member axis, we need to convert this vertical UDL into its respective parallel and perpendicular components. For converting the vertical UDL into parallel to member axis, we use the formulae W by 2 sin 2 theta or W sin theta cos theta, which gives us a value of 0.12 kN per meter. So this UDL is acting par parallel to the member axis. Likewise, to convert the vertical UDL perpendicular to the member axis, that is in this direction, we use the formulae W cos square theta that gives 0.24 kN per meter, which is acting in, across an inclined length of 22.36 meter. The 2 kN load is acting um, rightward in the horizontal direction, but we need its component in the um, perpendicular and in the parallel directions. So this angle is 26.565 degrees. So the vertically opposite angle will also be 26.565 degrees. If we draw a perpendicular line here, we will get the sine component. And if we draw a parallel line here, we'll get the cos component. So 2 kN load gives a perpendicular component of 2 sine 26.565 degrees in the downward direction as this force tends to push the member in downward direction. And it gives uh, a a parallel component of 2 cos 26.565 degrees. Likewise, for this 5 kN load, we proceed in the similar manner, resolving into its respective parallel and perpendicular components. And similarly, 1 kN load also pushes the member vertically upward. So we get 2 sine 26.565 degrees. Likewise, we resolve this 2 kN load also into its respective components. While resolving, we find that this 2 kN lo this load is giving uh, up rightward uh, in the rightward direction and this load is giving in the leftward direction so uh, in the mem in the point b fxb we get x means in the parallel direction to the member axis we get the value of 4.025 kN which is in the rightward direction similarly fxc we get since this is rightward and this is leftward and the leftward is higher that is higher value than the rightward we get is as negative so this member is trying this force is trying to compress the member likewise fyb that is perpendicular to the member axis is 3.578 kN which is positive because 5 is giving a greater value than 2 so likewise we um, find out the perpendicular component in the uh, C uh, in the joint C also and we get it as 1.789 kN. Now we got all the reaction components so we, we it's, it's easy for us to draw the axial force diagram and shear force diagram. So we draw the shear force diagram by rotating the member as horizontal one. We got it as 3.578 kN and 1.789 kN. We are assuming from left upward is positive so the shear force is positive in this direction. N now uh, this UDL, uh, UDL is acting downward so it is negative hence it will be uh, here it will be 1.789 kN downward and uh, just right of C it will be 1.789 upward so it is 0. We'll get a point of change uh, a point in which the shear force changes its sign and in that point the bending moment will be maximum hence we find the bending moment at this point. Uh, first, we find the value of x by using similar triangle concept. Hence, we got x as 7.453 meters. Now, we find the bending moment um, at this point, uh, which we got as 1.67 kN meter. And the bending moment at center, we got it as 0. Like, uh, in, the in the bending moment diagram, we saw two points of inflection or two points of contraflexion. We can easily find these points of contraflexor by assuming in a distance x and uh, uh, solving the equation. So we got x values as 3.726 and 11.180. Now for the vertical member, we rotate it. Uh, we rotate it as a horizontal member and we draw the uh, shear force diagram, bending moment diagram and axial force diagram. As 5 kN load is compressing the member and we assume compression as negative, the axial force diagram is negative. As 0 0.8 kN is acting in downward direction, the shear force diagram will be negative and the bending moment diagram as it is, anti is anticlockwise 
in the left direction it will be negative and clockwise in the right direction it will be negative and the curve will be a sagging parabola because the value of averages of this two is greater than 14.8 kN meter similarly the axial force diagram of the inclined member will also be negative because the member is trying to compress uh, because the forces are trying to compress the member now we can see the final bending moment diagram uh, uh, final bending moment diagram shear force diagram and axial force diagram in a single representation thank you for watching this video please like subscribe and share for more videos